Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using Element 3D in After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and today I will show how to make foggy scene in Element 3D. Let's first of all create new solid layer. Right mouse, new and solid. Add the name Element 3D and change color black. Click OK and go to Effects, Video Copilot and Element. So in this time go to Project and let's create new composition. Add name, Grid, Texture and click OK. Let's create new solid layer, right mouse new and solid. Add name, Background. Click OK and create again another solid layer. Add name, Grid. Click OK, go to FX Presses, search FX Grid and select Grid from Generate folder. Let's use for Grid Solid Layer and change size form. Let's change here with slider and change size like this. So in this time change opacity and color, let's select here, choose blue. Click OK. And let's back to main composition and go to project, select this texture, drag and drop main composition. And for now, let's hide, select element 3D, go to FX control and open custom texture map. And layer one, let's choose here grid texture and go to scene setup and go to create. Let's choose here plane. Okay, we have simple plane with one side and for C two sides, let's click this checkbox for two sides plane. And right now we can see two sides for this plane. Okay, so in this time open plane model, select default and go to diffuse, select non set and let's load texture here select custom layer one grid texture click ok ok here we go we have texture with plan so in this time let's select this plan model ctrl d for duplicate and move to up ok right now let's go to import select this car model and click open don't change any settings click ok again and for change size, click normalize size. Okay, and select scale tool, change scale a little bit. And let's change scale more. Nice, and select move to, and move to up. Let's zoom in here. Okay, that's good. And let's select this plane model, go to texture icon. And let's change UV repeat 5 and this 5. Okay, and select this plain model for up. Go to texture and change UV repeat 5, also this 5. Nice, let's select this plain model. Let's try to change this 7. Nice, and select this plain model. Also change this repeat 7. So, Let's go to presets and physicals textures. Select this black glass used for car model. Nice. And click OK. Click OK again. Let's create new camera tool. Right mouse, new and camera. Click OK. And for use camera movements, I will use these icons. For shortcut, you can press C. Let's press C, again C, and zoom to car. And press C, change view. Let's zoom to here. Okay, pretty good. So, in this time, select this element 3D. Let's play settings for realistic scene. Let's close custom layers, open render settings, and physical environment, let's enable with this checkbox for show in background. 
Go to scene setup again. We can choose background SRA image. Go to presets, environment, and backlight, and backlight Tuka. Click this checkbox for C environment image. Also, click this icon. Go to show ambient or collision for realistic shadows. Okay, for now, we can choose here backlights or this or this but I will use this backlight let's click OK and go to lighting we can choose here light types let's try use cinematic light nice and close these settings and let's open fog let's click enable fog and we can change color here like this Let's use color like this, click OK and press C. Let's zoom to model. OK, so right now we can change opacity here. Let's change 100 and we can change fog distance. Let's change 25 and fox range. Let's change 100. OK, I like it. This is more realistic fog and change color a little bit blue and we can play with fox distance like this and fog range okay let's change this 70 okay that's good so so let's open grid texture search glow and use for grid and change glow settings back to main compensation okay very nice let's press c and we can see full scene with fog also select this element 3d and go to open ambient or collision click checkbox for realistic shadow and change in tested 10 and select this camera let's open inside camera options and enable default field and aperture let's first change quality quarter and distance let's aperture change this three or two and change fox distance okay change quality again full nice i like it and blur level change 125 so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck